A big problem nowadays navigating and browsing internet is struggling with passwords. I show you my approach. So basically you have to take a paper, a pen, write down in this paper all your passwords and bring with you this paper so you are able always to see which password you have to use. No, I'm just joking. Please don't do that. I show you my personal approach, how I deal with multiple passwords cross device. I show you how you can install just an app that will store all your passwords that are encrypted and then you are able to reuse this password in your laptop, in your smartphone, in your PC, Mac, where you want. Okay, let's start. Here I am on my PC. I'm using Microsoft Edge to navigate on internet. This is the first requirement. You need to use Microsoft Edge in order to synchronize all your password to your smartphone. So let me go now on settings because we have to check that we have the proper configuration on. So first of all, you have to turn on the synchronization mechanism on the settings panel. Here you can turn on passwords. Then going back and clicking on passwords, here you have to make sure that offer to save passwords and suggest strong password is set to on. Once you have done that and when you start to browse on internet and when you sign up to some website, all passwords saved are stored here, are encrypted. And here, if you want, you can click on this button to show the password if you want. Here you have this additional column that tell you the health of this password. Suggest strong passwords. It's a very nice feature that helps you to find a very secure password. Let me show you how it works. Let me jump on a website, AS Roma. This is my favorite football club. And if I want to sign up to this site, I can click on the button sign in. Now, if I go on the password field and if I click with the right button, I have this option suggest strong password. Clicking on this one, I'm able to generate a password and this feature comes exactly from Microsoft Edge. Clicking on in this one, now I selected this password. If I go forward and if I proceed with signing up on this website, this password will be stored directly in Microsoft Edge and it will be encrypted. Now let's jump on my smartphone and I'll show you how all passwords are synchronized transparently. Right now I am on my Android device. First of all, I'm going to open the store, the Play Store, and then I'm going to type Authenticator. You have the Microsoft Authenticator app that shows up. There is also the Google Authenticator, but what offer the sync mechanism for password is the Microsoft Authenticator. I already installed this app. If I tap on open, first of all, I set up the fingerprint recognition. So providing that I'm able to get in and here I have listed all my accounts. These are all accounts where I have the code authentication or where I have the multi-factor authentication, which provides additional security for your account. Before to deep dive this app, I want to open Google Chrome because it's very interesting to know that the suggest password functionality coming with the Microsoft Authenticator and integrated in Microsoft Edge for desktop or laptop comes out also here on the smartphone. Let me go on the password field and here, as you can see, I have suggest strong password because I'm using Microsoft Authenticator on my Android device. If I type on it, I have a strong password which is suggested. So I can use this one or I can cancel. Let me cancel this one right now and let me reopen right now the Authenticator app. Again, there is the recognition sign in and then let me tap on the ellipsis button. Here I can add additional account or I can go on the settings. In the settings, we have the notification, you have a sound or a vibration when you have to provide a code or when you have a multi-factor authentication. 
The backup is very important because if you lose your smartphone or if you ch change your smartphone for some reason, this functionality allows you to recover all your accounts in the new smartphone. So in this way, you are always able to use the multi-factor authentication along with your accounts. Finally, we have the security section with the uplock and screen capture. If you want to allow or not the screen capture, I turn it on right now because I'm recording this video. I have to be, I am to be able to show you my screen. Then we have the sync account. Here you have to sign in, sign in with your uh, Microsoft account. And then there is additional uh, option like require biometric or PIN. Turn on this option to have more security. And finally, another important feature is the ability to import password or export passwords. Okay, let's go back now and let me show you the password, which is the most important thing and it is the core of this video. So here we have a list of all websites where I signed up. For every website, I have username and password. If I jump on one, for example, LinkedIn, I can see my username and the password. So I can display the password if I want. All new password, it doesn't matter if I am on my Android device or if I am with my laptop or my desktop, every new password is synchronized automatically. So you will have always the ability to check all your passwords, which are, are listed here, are encrypted, as I mentioned it. It's totally secure. You have always the ability to have a look to a password if you don't remember. But don't worry, because this is automatically provided and offered to you when you navigate to the website. For example, if I open Ryanair, I have already the username and the password suggested and fill it out on the form. I don't need to remember or to type my password again. This is a great benefit. You have always your password uh, with you. It's, as I mentioned, it's, it's totally secure. And additionally, you can save payments information as well. So if you make some purchase on Amazon or on other websites, you can save here your information related to your credit card and you can automatically fill in this info in the in the form and finally there is the addresses this is also useful in terms of filling out the form when you are making the first registration to a website all right we have seen in this video how to deal with multiple passwords on the web cross devices if you enjoyed these videos as always please consider to subscribe like comment stay tuned and i hope to see you next time bye